I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on finding higher order derivatives of logarithmic function. The question here is find the formula for nth derivative of f of x equals 2 ln x minus 1. Right. So we are given the function f of x equals 2 ln x minus 1. The first derivative of this function will be 1 over x minus 1, correct? So that is the first derivative of this particular function, which you could write as, uh, I mean, x, you could write this as x minus 1 to the power of minus 1. Okay. The second derivative of this function is going to be, we can apply the power rule, so we get minus x minus 1 to the power of minus 1 minus 1 gives us minus 2, correct? Now the third derivative for this function will be minus and minus becomes positive, so it is positive 2 x minus 1 to the power of minus 3. The fourth derivative, let me write this as the fourth derivative of this function, will be uh, minus that minus 3 times 2, so we can say 2 times 3, which is 6, x to the power of minus 1, and this becomes 4. So likewise, if we continue, so fifth power, we could write 5 also here, will be, it becomes positive now, do you see that? 2 times 3 times 4, x minus 1 to the power of minus 5. So we have a trend here correct? Based on this, I think you can definitely write down the general solution, right? So you can just continue with this trend and you can write a general solution based on this, right? So what do you see here? The trend here is that this power negative, so we can say f of n x, n is the derivative. It could be negative or positive, it is negative when the nth derivative is even, right? And it is positive for odd numbers. So, so it is negative when n is even, right? So we could write this as, so for third derivative it is positive, right? So 3, so we could write this as n minus 1 here. So 3 minus 1 is 2. That makes it positive. Do you get an idea, right? But if I write 4 here, then 4 minus 3 will be an odd number and we'll get negative, correct? So that is kind of a check. And these numbers here are like 1, 2, 3, 4. So these numbers, you could write this as 2 times, 3 times, so on, till n minus 1, till n minus 1, correct? So these are the numbers. And what we have here is x minus 1 to the power of minus n. Is that right? So that is how you could write the general formula. So we could also use the factorial notation to write this. So in factorial notation, it could be written as, this product could be written as n minus 1 factorial, right? So that is n minus 1 times n minus 2 times so on till 1, right? Divided by this number, which is x minus 1 to the power of n. So that is how you could get a general formula for this. So let me write down the answer here. So the answer for us is minus 1. I mean, let me write f of nx equals 2 minus 1 to the power of n minus 1, n minus 1 factorial, or x minus 1 to the power of n, correct? So that becomes the general formula for the given question. I'm Adil Kumar, and I hope you appreciate the solution. Thank you, and all the best.